Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. So what, what got you interested in uh, engineering? Right from the beginning? Yes. Okay. Hmm. It's a story. It's a, it's, a, it's a story, actually. And that story started... Let, let's have uh, the story. Okay, when I was very young, yes, sir. I, I, I had somebody that I so much respect for. I don't... The man was not an engineer. He was a mechanic. And then, anytime I went to Elisha, I will see S.A. Momodu Mechanic Workshop. I got into I will be trying and looking at the field. And uh, actually, the man was uh, the husband of my auntie. So I got interested, the man got interested in me, and I think I have fell in love with him. Interesting. Interesting. Second is to, you know, to be an engineer, because I understand all the mathematics and work. I am very happy that I was interested in this. I had good work with interesting. So what makes a good engineer? Engineering, you see, when we go to university or we go to um, college of tech or anything, what we are taught is the discipline. It is not it is not the practical. When you get out of that area and you now go to work, that is the time you understand what engineering is. I can tell you that when I left actually at Unilive, all my vacation job was done in Dunlop. Dunlop is a very oh, let me say, okay, is because I see Dunlop somewhere else. Dunlop is a very, very heavy industry. And it goes, it spans a lot of engineering, a, a, engineering spectrum. It goes from millivolts to, to thousands of volts in terms of machines. In terms of control, because of millivolts. So you, when you are when you work with Dunlop, you will what it is an engineer in the field. Bachelor means you are just outspired. Of those bachelors depends on you. So the engineers must be practical. Uh, some people say that the BSc people are, are not practical. No, it depends on the individual. I can tell you when I was there, I was cleaning tools that we use for, by artisans. In fact, some of them felt superior to me when I was going on back. That they finish whatever they are doing and they say, uh, okay, clean this thing for me. But I, I did it because I was enjoying it. But what now happened was I went and I became their boss. We had were running. To them. I was always catching them. So there was one day that I called. I called. I know Musa is. I know where Musa will be. So I think that that. But again, we are free. We enjoyed us. Interesting. So what is the greatest thing that engineering has done for you? The greatest thing that engineering has done for me, yes. makes me engineering makes me analytical. I, I well, one of the times people say we're a little bit too um, conservative. But the fact is, before I jump into the stream, I will always test the water. So, and I think that is engineering. Just, I, I, I was That's in maintenance it. engineering. Was, so, chief engineer okay. of Dunlop for nine years. So I was I was a maintenance engineer. Many many engineering things that have been done for me in my own personal capacity. People cannot fool me about it. Be it plumbing, be it electricity, be it um, motor, be it machines, anything. Cool. So I think that knowledge is good and uh, it is it is invaluable. Interesting. 
So what has engineering not done for you? What would you have wanted engineering to do for you that it has not done? That engineering has not done. Yeah, I've not been yes. a good engineer. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think that. I don't think. <coughs> I always tell people when you are when you are doing engineering. In fact, those of us that that started early in construction, you possibly get a better deal. But those of us that were in the factory, you are busy seeing that machines are working, and so machines are always looking good. So, and that means if you don't listen very well, when they start, that's why now you have to do. But it's touching it, but not like the Japanese do. No, when the Japanese, when the Japanese production, what's the thing to clean the machine? They spend about five minutes to clean the machine. Because while you are cleaning, you touch, you listen, and you can understand where it's going. So, because we are so busy and gross, in, in, in listening to those, we don't follow the politics of whatever we are. Even in Nigeria now, how many engineers are, 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 are playing politics? Now we should be. So, that, that, that was a bit of the problem. Interesting. Interesting. So, what, what don't you like about the profession? What don't I like about the profession? Oh, I can tell yes. you that it's my vocation. Is my interest and so much in <laughs> love, right? Apart from engineering, other things I love are my schoolmates, poetry. Apart from those, but what don't what don't I like? The only thing I think I don't like is the fact that some of the times we engineers over criticize ourselves, mm. and uh, you go to the ministry, you are, they are giving you a job, and then. They start saying, oh, why, should, why should it be? Uh, we can't do it now. We don't need a consultant. I think that, that is changing, but it must completely be eradicated. Consultants are the ones that looks at your watch to tell you the time. We are the owner of the watch. We know how to read them. But we still look at it and say, this is the time. So we are there to make sure we take that stress away from those people. And they are there to make sure that they regulate whatever we are doing and supervise it to make sure we don't make mistakes. But right. when when the supervisor now becomes the doer, who is going to supervise it? <laughs> Interesting. Someone, unfortunately, I can't see the name very well, but someone says, what will the association do to encourage young uh, engineers you know, to come into the profession? Well, we what we are doing now, we have a, we have an endowment fund, and that endowment fund is actually to go to schools and let them know. Let let's open up to them. Let's mentor the young ones. Um, we have been going to universities to tell them, I mean, to to show them career path. A lot have already gotten even jobs through that that arrangement. So we are going to be there to mentor them. In fact, we go also to look at the the, the um, equipment in engineer in engineering faculties. Department. Oh, some of the science we write, but we don't. We won't make we won't make the noise out. But we have to see. Because when we went to to let people see. But we saw that what we used at the time I was there was still you know, we, we made a, a, a little noise. <laughs> and we are happy because now when we are, when, when, when we started um, at the University of Lagos, we were using God. Uh, we try we teach and uh, but now they are now using uh, computer aided designs. They have they have a uh, computer in that drawing room, that is a big leap. So we are interested in looking at what the equipment that are available for our for our uh, students. We are also looking at what we can also do to impact on the interest of the students to be aligned to engineering. Unfortunately, engineering so far in this country is not a rich profession. That is why my son went to banking. <laughs> uh, well, he's, he's done, he has joined. I've, I've seen him there. So 
<laughs> I like that. I like that.